Bush Gordon, tell me where you at? Your motivation guy is back in the house again, man. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best Fortnite player in the world. Listen, guys, we did it. The Seven have united to take down the IO. Sloan has been taken down, and the Fortnite Island is saved once more. Or is it? In the meantime, all right, the Loopers are celebrating the victory in this brand new season of Fortnite. We got coasters, guys, a reality tree, and all sorts of new goodies to explore. So, what's next? It's time to get grinding that battle pass, man. So here are some tips to get you guys leveled up quickly. But before we get started, it's time to do our tradition. It's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. Yo, let's get this going. So, as always, the easiest place to begin leveling up your battle pass is through the various daily and weekly and milestone quests. Here, you're going to be given missions that you can complete to earn fast XP. As the season progresses, you know, more quests are going to be added as well as some bigger quests that grant even bigger rewards. So, how do you guys speed up the process using quests? Good question. You know, if you want to increase your progress in quests, you're going to want to just make sure that you build some habits early on for this season. All right, so for starters, like if you see a bounty board, always turn on the bounty, all right? Next, you're going to want to get used to hitting weak points when harvesting. Even if you don't need healing right away, if you see a non box, then open it up and just eat the vegetables. These are all great habits to build because often the milestone quest and the daily quest might cycle into these new requirements. This means every time that you play a match, you're making progress towards one or more quests. In fact, like like, that's the secret to success, guys, multitasking. Like, if you complete multiple quests per game, you're gonna increase the speed of your battle pass progress. Also, guys, don't forget, set aside some matches during the day to focus entirely on quests, especially ones that require you to go to a specific location. These are usually the easiest to track, and if you plan out your landing and rotation, you can get plenty of them done during a single match. Just don't forget to bring a vehicle and just keep an eye out on that storm. And while you're at it, don't forget to keep an eye out for Tover tokens, especially if you're already going from location to location. Like, you're gonna need these if you guys wanna unlock more parts for Snap. Like the Omni Sword last season, you know, Snap is gonna require a lot of traveling if you guys wanna collect all the parts. For now, you're limited to how much that you can unlock, but in 18 days, hey, we get even more parts. All right, guys, it may seem like summer vacation on the island, but the grind never stops. Click on the link below to visit ProGuys.com. Get ready for the competitive season with all the latest strategies and training methods that can help you become a better Fortnite player. Need help? Ask our team of pro coaches to get you on the right track. Once again, Fortnite Imposters is a great way to earn XP and possibly one of the faster ways to do it without grinding quests. However, there is a formula to make the most out of it and it's much faster than just jumping in the game and just waiting for it to finish. Just a heads up guys, you know it's been a thing for a while now, but just in case you missed out, Epic put a stop to all the AFK players using Imposters to grind XP. You know, it used to be that, you know, you could enter a match, go AFK and just come out with tons of XP when the match ended. It was a good way to be idle, you know, do something else and still make progress. But if you guys want to play the game right, you can actually make even more XP. The best road to gain XP is, you know, really to play as an agent. You know, it may be fun to be an imposter, but if you're on that XP grind, man, this is the way to go. Unlike imposters, you know, agents get a whole selection of tasks to perform, and each time that you get it done, you know, it just increases the amount of XP you get at the end of the match. So try to focus entirely on the missions that's going to go by quickly, and you're going to just get a new task right away. The riskiest tasks, man, to really perform are really like the ones that require you to grab an object and just bring it to another point in the map. So, you know, whenever you can, prioritize completing tasks such as breaking rocks and pushing buttons or hitting targets. And it becomes easier once you learn the map since you now have a better idea of what task each marker signifies. All right, guys, always be sure to stay to the end of the game. XP is also determined by how long the match lasts as well as who wins. It will also tally up all your completed tasks. So more tasks equal more XP. If you guys run out of quests and you need to wait for them to refresh, just drop into imposters, have a little fun, and make make big XP gains in the process. This is a great way to get to a level 100 fast. All right, so um, if you guys can get that done early, then you could be ready to obtain the bonus rewards as they get released. Now, if you guys want to get some more XP out of the Battle Royale, but also improve your skills at the same time, then consider practicing your combat skills by W King. Yeah, that's right, man. It's time to actually sit down and play Fortnite. Okay, so every kill that you make during a match is worth its fair share of XP, but your goal for this time around is going to be collecting a victory crown. Victory crowns are awarded to players who manage to get a victory royale or just pick them off of a fallen player who happened to drop one. This is why it is so important to get better at combat. You know, when the XP crown is worn, it just gives 
the holder of boost and XP, and now actions such as kills are worth more than usual. If you're good at fighting, then you can take advantage of this, and if you manage to get better at the game, then you can keep the momentum going. All right, aim for those consistent wins, and if you ever want to just set the skill-based matchmaking back a bit, but you can always just allow yourself to be killed by bots a few times to just scale it back a bit. This is a good strategy for players that just want to get into easier matches where they can either complete quests or just get easy kills for the XP and Big Royale boost. All right, now for the question of the day. You guys ready for this? Here we go. What do you guys think of the new season? Like, are you guys liking the summer vibe? What do you want them to add on later? Okay, so we still got till September to enjoy it, so let's just see how things unfold. So what about creative mode? You know, every season there's dozens of supposed XP glitches that's gonna help you reach level 100 fast, but it doesn't always work out. Why? I have a good question because, you know, Epic has actually made a cap on the speed of your XP gains. How does the cap work? Well, rather than just have a limit to how much XP you can earn from creative, it instead starts to funnel your XP after a certain point. So rather than just getting a flood of XP, you can start to notice that you're earning less over time. And this is why it is important, guys, especially at the start of this new season, to just grind creative as much as possible until you drain every last bit of XP that you can. So which creative modes are the best for XP grinding? Well, deathmatch mode are really fun and really can help you guys train your fighting skills but you know it's also a great game mode to really grind on due to the fact that you know you see an a respawn right away and so if you guys want to level up fast then you're going to just want to limit your downtime and if you you know you're just waiting to respawn or just enter a new match then you're going to be going a lot slower than you want so keep just getting those kills and just keep leveling up all right just don't forget to keep an eye on how much xp that you get per kill like if you see that you aren't getting as much as you did before then you might consider switching over to imposters or battle out for the missions. Once again, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com for some expert level coaching. You know, once the battle pass ends, competitive begins, right? So come on over and learn how to be that GOAT. All right, so there are two things that you need to know about leveling up. You may have noticed that at times, like you get supercharged XP. Knowing how this system works can really help you guys level up fast, but not in the way that you might think it works. We all have things that we need to do, and sometimes we need to miss out a PM, you know, a day to day for grinding Fortnite. Like, but if you do miss out on a day's challenge, don't get worried. Supercharged XP is gonna take effect. From here, and I mean like right here on out, you can get extra XP for everything you do. This includes completing challenges, getting killed, and pretty much every action to perform during a match. But there is a limit to how much XP that you can get from supercharging. The mechanic itself actually allows you to get bonus XP up to the amount that you would have made on the day that you missed out. For example, if you guys missed out on 15,000 XP yesterday, you can get up to 15,000 bonus XP today before your gains go back to normal. You know, just a neat way of just catching up, but if you plan on exploiting this, then definitely try to just double the XP that you gain from missions by doing them every other day. It's not actually working the way that you think it does. So the fastest way to really level up is simply grinding as much as you can each day. Just don't forget to take a break, all right? Bunch of Crunch Army, man, I am back. I'm still going, man. It's your guy, Keith Allen, your motivation guy. Connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you already know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, first of all, if you haven't. Come on, man, what are you waiting for? Spread the word because everybody needs to know about Pro Guys Fortnite, man. It's still going down. We still got, you know, some of the best content on the web. So, hey, uh, spread the word if you can. We love to hear from you guys. Remember, you know, we have till September to grind out the battle pass, but the sooner that you get those levels up, the more that you can really focus on your competitive routine. All right. And so we got an exciting summer ahead of us and we're looking forward to covering everything this season. So I'll see you in the next one. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Don't get discouraged when things come. You got to learn just to take it one day at a time. And remember everything that comes at you just makes you better anyway. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.